In the tropics, very busy. We have not only a barrel, category four hurricane, we also have a strong tropical wave that we keep you an eye on. It has about a 50-50 chance of developing, but this is an really incredible weather situation that's developed now into the Caribbean. Very, just a, really a textbook major hurricane here. Very symmetrical, you see a well-defined eye. Uh, no, essentially no wind shear, no dry air getting entrained near this. Just cold cloud tops to uh, you know, very, very cold cloud tops, really well protected with the bright red cold cloud tops uh, in all quadrants. There, there's sometimes in hurricanes like this, you'll start to see dry air get entrained near the center. It's certainly not the case with this one. And the central pressure has been falling for the last few hours, slowly, uh, which is an, usually what happens is when there's a pressure drop in a hurricane, about four to six hours later, there's an increase in the wind speed. It's kept at 150 miles an hour. Uh, that's what it was earlier, but we may see it increased a little bit. Now, there's another hurricane hunter that is going to fly through this this evening. The last one was a few hours ago. That was really the, the last best look at the readings. It is expected to eventually work into the Yucatan, but could have a big impact around Jamaica and the Cayman Islands the middle of the week where watches and warnings are in effect there. Uh, the uh, hurricane hunters, as I said, have fly, they fly a, a crisscross pattern. They fly a flight level winds around 170 miles an hour. And that central pressure, as I mentioned, it was 946 with that flight. It's down to 944 now in the latest advisory. So as the pressure falls, sometimes we see a bump in the wind speeds a few hours later. And we also have another invest, as I said, about a 50-50 chance of developing. It looks like it'll take the same track as our other system, though, barrel. Uh, so it won't have any impact here. It, very unusual to say July 1st, typically, and we don't get many hurricanes or tropical storms in the month of July, but we typically see them in the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and off the Bahamas and off the Carolina coastline, and uh, perhaps in the eastern uh, the Caribbean, but that is rare.